So at Code for Lib this year, one of the presentations was by uh, Joshua from uh, Libline, where he talked about the uh, Biblios.net um, cataloging uh, catalog that they've created. Uh, basically, it's an open data catalog for uh, for library data. Um, one of the things that, uh, that Joshua had talked about was um, how to integrate into their web services and basically add records, modify records, um, update records from the uh, from the database. And so um, I wanted to see how difficult it would be to go ahead and integrate something like that into MarkEdit. So in MarkEdit we have the plugin system and so that's basically how I decided to do um, for a simple implementation of uh, Biblios.net. Uh, you open up the Mark Editor here into the screen. Um, I went ahead and installed a simplified plugin here that when open lets you um, search the bibliost.net setup. So search for uh, Kyle and I's book. And we'll do a quick search here and see how long it takes. There we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and select the first record and tell it that I want to edit it. And so it's going to pull that record into Mark Edit. I am going to make one change to the record. And if you're familiar with Mark Edit, you'll know that this icon isn't there. The plugin actually has inserted that icon in the toolbar. And so um, I've made my change there. I've added uh, Kyle's first name, um, J, to the record. Uh, and uh, go ahead and update this into uh, Bibliost.net. So I'll click on this button. Uh, processing records been saved, and so the record has been uploaded, and so we can look at it again. Let's go ahead and re-download that record. And if we re-download this record, we'll do the search again. If we re-download the record here, we can take a look and see that the change has been uploaded into the Biblios um, .NET cataloging uh, catalog, and so that's pretty much it. Uh, this particular plugin, I'll go ahead and make available um, with the next update of Mark Edit. And uh, like all plugins, um, they're basically available through the uh, plugin manager here. Um, eventually, I'll I'll post I'll host this up on the website, and you'll be able to download it directly from there and load it into Mark Edit, and you'll be ready to go. Uh, the source code for this, um, like the other plugins, is uh, posted up on the website. Um, I went ahead and added a blog post that uh, accompanies this particular video in case you're interested in seeing um, how the source code works uh, for this particular plugin. So that's pretty much it. Uh, easy peasy.